Hi, let's take a closer look to uh, when we should queue or when we should uh, work without a queue. Okay, uh, the difference is uh, in queuing every time it's possible to queue. And uh, in this uh, state, the queue is handling the writing and reading for Modbus. And so it uh, only goes to queue and back to activate, or you can uh, queue directly while it's queuing. Okay, and uh, without the queue, we just read. It waits for the response from uh, our Modbus device and uh, back to activate and write the same way. And uh, this is every time if a command comes in, it tries to uh, read or write, but just if it's uh, in state activated. There are some allowed states uh, when we can, uh, when we are able to read or write. So uh, reading and writing states are to protect for um, sending data while it's uh, waiting for the response from the Modbus device. Okay, this is the difference in state. And uh, now we take a closer look to the TCP. Here I have two uh, examples. We see uh, one works with the queue and one is working without a queue. <coughs> and we see here uh, when we have some uh, data, maybe just one writing to a Modbus device, then maybe the d Modbus device is uh, fast enough to handle this. So you don't need any queue um, if your device is uh, fast enough to do this for you. And uh, the other example is uh, to work with the queue when you have uh, many events at the same time. So the queue can help you to handle all these uh, um, directly incoming commands because all these nodes firing the event uh, at the second. So every second the command goes from these nodes to uh, the writing. And we see it in the queue, it's uh, running up. And uh, this is the best way to handle um, nodes with queue or without. And uh, another um, way is how we work with uh, reading, writing uh, to Modbus. The bad idea is to have uh, for close uh, registers or coils um, different nodes. So you see um, this is uh, 20, 21, 22. The better way is to have just one node and say, okay, I want to read uh, three uh, by quantity and uh, we get all three values at the response and also at the data output here. In uh, serial commands, we can uh, see what happens if uh, we go a bit, little bit slower in queuing, because this is the time uh, which is ever guaranteed um, to your sending uh, um, for the device commands. So now it's never been faster than uh, 200 milliseconds. And we see, okay, that is very slow for the device <coughs> and we get some high high level reached then we can set up here inside the new Q info node our low level low low level and all this stuff and uh, also we can decide that uh, high level should also uh, raise an error um, without this uh, just on high high you get an error event which you can use with uh, the catch all have some example here that we say okay with, uh, when the high high level is reached in a message state then please send the reset to the queue and so we see it's growing up growing up every time and uh, we see also some messages here this is a warning when uh, we did not activate this when we activate it then boom we should get um, the problem earlier. Another way is to um, connect the warning maybe by email or whatever you uh, try to use or MQTT and you can send events okay uh, maybe device is not uh, working so please have a look what's going on and on high high level maybe you can reset it to restart uh, with a clean queue then sometimes uh, the communication is broken a bit, then the queue can grow up 
and uh, to go back to a normal state then maybe it helps it helps to um, reset the queue so uh, we see high level reached is now an error message and we can react on this if we see here high level reached message state then also reset please that's it have fun try it for yourself <laughs>